Welcome to Mindful Monday, brought to you by Stockton Unified School District Mental Health and Behavior Support Services. This month, our topic is on mindfully returning to school during COVID-19. As summer comes to an end and we find ourselves returning to a new school year during COVID-19, that may bring up a lot of overwhelming emotions for many of us. Some may embrace the changes while others may find them difficult and overwhelming to navigate. It can be a struggle to manage all of these emotions when we are trying to balance our new roles as distance learners, distance educators, and parents trying to balance home, school, and work life. Let's work together to embrace our new normal and learn ways to navigate some of the ups and downs that we are bound to go through. Let's be honest, no one imagined a 2020 like this. You may be feeling some pretty big emotions, such as anger, anxiety, fear, stress, sadness, and loneliness, to name a few. For many of us, our children and students included, our lives have been turned upside down with all the changes that have been forced upon us. You may be struggling on how to manage not only everyday demands placed upon you, but the feelings you have about all the changes, and that is totally okay. It's important to remember that it's okay to have these big emotions. Working from home or the loss of a job, children being educated in the home setting, teachers trying to engage students from afar, and the loss of family and friends are just a few of the issues that may be weighing heavily upon your shoulders. Let's explore some mindful and healthy coping skills that may help during these trying times. Steps to self-care. Exercise, eat healthy, sleep, time off, get outside, laugh, practice mindfulness, and talk to a friend. What's your self-love language? Physical touch, things that make your body feel good or focus on your physical being. Acts of service, doing or arranging things for yourself that make you feel good. Receiving gifts, treating yourself by purchasing things that make you happy. Quality time, spending time alone, hobbies and doing things that you love. Words of affirmation, giving yourself pep talks and encouraging yourself. Let's practice some mindful breathing with this one minute video. Positive self-talk. Bring awareness. The first step in reframing your thoughts is to listen and be aware of them so you can better understand them. Challenge beliefs. Remember, not all your thoughts are true. Don't just accept what you think just because your mind goes there. Your thoughts don't define you. Choose your thoughts. Notice patterns in your thinking. Be aware of the negative thoughts then choose to change your perspective on it to shift into a more positive one. Check environment. Your environment can have a big impact on the way you talk to yourself. Check if your environment is bringing you more negative feelings than positive ones. Practice daily. By repeating positive thoughts, you develop a gentler and kinder way to talk to yourself more often. Affirmations for students. I strongly believe in myself. Passing exams is easy for me because I'm always prepared. I enjoy helping others 
to help them succeed too. Positive affirmations for working parents. I am working hard to support my family. I am a positive role model for my children. I got this. How to get a good night's sleep. Dim the lights, be consistent, have a routine, relaxation, and avoid alcohol and caffeine before bed. Things you should know about getting good sleep during the COVID-19 pandemic. Stressful situations and worrying can impair sleep. Poor sleep can negatively affect mood and daytime functioning when awake. Good sleep quality and quantity is important for the immune system. It's important to maintain good sleep habits throughout uncertain times. You're not working from home. You're at home working, which is new for many of us. It can be quite difficult to have clear boundaries with ourselves and others while juggling our home and work life in the same place. Let's look at ways to balance our chaotic lives. Stay positive, keep learning. Five steps for children and families during distance learning. Stick to a routine, make time to be creative, limit screen time, go outside, stay active, talk, share, and be grateful. Let's look at some steps in creating a schedule. Work together as a team to create your daily calendar. Make it fun. Be specific with what activities will be done and when throughout the day for children. For younger children, you might have to change activities often to hold their attention. Create breaks for lunch and to interact, such as reading a book or taking a 10 minute walk around the block. Make sure you have a starting and ending time for the day. Each night, fill a laundry basket with all materials needed for work or school for the next day. Below is an example of what a daily schedule could look like. Let's talk about good parent-teacher communication, which can help your child's overall growth. Warmth, build a warm and cordial relationship with your kid's teacher. Trust, trusting that your teacher wishes the best for your child. Acknowledgement, being thankful and acknowledging the teacher's contribution. Feedback, ask questions and seek their input and feedback. Talking about COVID-19, be willing to talk. They will have already heard something. Silence and secrets do not protect our children. Honesty and openness do. Think about how much they will understand. You know them best. Here's a list of suggestions on how to talk to your child at every age. Humans are social beings and thrive off connection with others. During quarantine, social interaction has decreased dramatically and it can be difficult to stay connected to those outside of our homes. Studies have shown that social connectedness improves our overall health and well-being with benefits such as an increased immune system, quicker recovery time, reduced anxiety and depression, while increasing self-esteem. While the lack of social connectedness may lead to anxiety, depression, antisocial behavior, and even suicidal behaviors, which tend to further increase isolation. Being quarantined doesn't mean we are cut off from the world. It just means we need to find new and creative ways to interact with the world. Here are four ways to stay connected during social distancing. Connect virtually, help a neighbor, maintain a well-balanced lifestyle, and stay positive. Being isolated in your home during a pandemic means you and your child will come in contact with fewer people than usual. It's important to be mindful of the changes you may notice within not only yourself, but in your child or student. Not every change you notice means a crisis is brewing. However, it's important to be mindful so that the possible concerns can be addressed and the appropriate help can be sought out. Navigating a mental health crisis. Warning signs. Trouble with daily tasks, sudden changes in mood, increased agitation, abusive behavior, symptoms of psychosis and paranoia. What to do in a mental health crisis. 
If you are worried that your loved one is nearing crisis, seek help to assess the immediacy of the situation to help determine where to start. Is the person in danger? Do you have time to call for guidance or do you need emergency assistance? If the situation is life-threatening, call 911 and ask for someone with mental health experience to respond like a crisis intervention team. If you or a child or student are in need of additional help, you can reach out to the following people. School staff, teacher, counselor, nurse, principal, mental health clinician. If you feel as though you or your child or student are in an immediate crisis, please contact one of the following agencies. 911, your local emergency room, San Joaquin County Mental Health Crisis at 209-468-8686, the Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-8255, or In a Crisis Text Home to 741-741. Here are some precautions that may help during this time. Please remember to follow district guidelines. Help stop the spread of germs by remembering the following. Stay six feet from other people. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue. When in public, wear a cloth mask covering your nose and mouth. Do not touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. Clean and disinfect frequently. Stay home when you are sick and wash your hands often with soap and water for 20 seconds. Here is a tutorial on how to wash your hands. The following is a tutorial on how to wear a mask. Remember to social distance. Here are three examples of what six feet in distance looks like. During the 2020-2021 school year, the Mental Health and Behavior Support Services Department will be releasing a Mindful Monday video series the first Monday of every month. Topics will include mindfully returning to school during COVID-19, emotions and feelings, self-care, grounding, mindful communication, mindful goal setting, self-compassion, Mindful Breathing, Mindful Sleep, Mental Health 101, and Self-Esteem. You can find the videos on the following platforms. SUSD Social Media Pages at Stockton Unified, Mental Health and Behavior Support Services YouTube page at the following link. Mental Health and Behavior Support Services website at www.stockton usd.net forward slash mhbss. If you'd like more information, please visit the following websites. No matter how challenging the current situation may be, remember, behind the clouds, the sun always shines. Continue to practice daily mindfulness and healthy coping skills. Remember, you matter. Thank you for watching this month's video. We look forward to seeing you next month. For more information, visit www.stocktonusd.net forward slash MHBSS.